heard about the program a few years back. I said, maybe this is, you know, it's, I don't think it's for me. I'm not sure this would be for me. I'm not sure um, they would even say yes. And they did. And I'm so glad that they did. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> One of my mentor teachers was Conrad Ludlow, former New York City ballet dancer. And so I've always been um, drawn to the aesthetic of New York City Ballet. Just the idea of coming to SAV and learn about the technique and learn about, you know, how Mr. Balanchine, you know, wanted um, the training. SAB was always a place where I did all my auditions. Um, I went to school across the street from SAB. I've had so many friends that have attended SAB and it's always an institution that I've always idolized. I saw the about the fellowship program and it was probably before COVID and I always wanted to apply and I didn't follow through. But then after COVID, I thought if I don't try now, I will never try. I have friends who are former fellows that I admire greatly for what they do. And so I was encouraged to apply and I did. It's been a life changing week for me, honestly. We've had the opportunity to um, observe a few teachers every day. Katrina Killian has been so generous with providing the syllabus and going over it and being patient and then to watch the classes afterwards to reinforce what we've learned. And you see how the curriculum is applied and how and why it works is amazing as a teacher. I did not think that I was gonna take so much information from it. I thought it was gonna be more so. We were coming to just observe classes and we'll take notes, but we have really have been able to learn the syllabus. It's such an amazing opportunity to really take a dive into the structure of it and how does it start from level one and it progresses to three, four, and so forth. To see the pedagogy applied in class, but then to have that one-on-one -on -one with Katrina is so invaluable. It's been really, really instrumental to break down some of the larger movements, the more um, the popular movements, if you will. Um, so they understand, the dancer understands how to do them properly. It was absolutely amazing because I feel like as a student myself, I never learned the very basic fundamentals of ballet and I kind of just impersonated the person in front of me. Um, but she really broke it down step by step, the very simplest things, even for a torgite, even um, for a, a chape. And I felt that was so useful that I could bring to my like, baby students. There's such a mystery about the balancing technique, and I think it, sometimes it gets distorted unless you learn it directly from the source. So I think to be able to experience it firsthand is, is an incredible blessing. I feel empowered now um, knowing, being able to say, I train with dancers that train with Mr. Balanchine. To hear the stories from these legendary teachers about their times with Balanchine or on the stage doing these ballets is just priceless. And to hear the other teachers just simple things like show your jewelry, you know, it's just, it's just a dream for me. And um, I feel honored to be here. When you come to the School of American Ballet, there's such a history towards it. And um, in a sense, when even that I'm here for a week, I feel connected. I feel like I have a place here. I'm super excited to come back in the spring. I can't wait. So I feel so honored that I was chosen um, to keep this work um, moving forward. And, and I can't wait to keep training and keep learning.